This is KVU News Daybreak. It is 8 o'clock on your Saturday morning. We're looking at video now from downtown Austin from overnight where I-35 is now back open after a deadly accident here. A motorcyclist hit the guardrail on the Ben White Bridge over I-35 and then fell onto the highway below. He was pronounced dead on arrival. No one else was involved. The highway was shut down for about two hours as crews cleared that scene. No word yet on what caused him to crash. Police continue to investigate. And another accident on I-35 farther north shut down part of the interstate there as well. This one happening near the St. John's exit. Police say one person was taken to the hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. It also took two hours to clean up the road in this crash. And two people are in jail this morning after police say they caught them with a stolen car. About 1.30 this morning, Austin police used Twitter to tell neighbors in South Austin that a helicopter and canine units were helping officers find people who stole a car and then took off. The chase ended at Ben White and Montopolis. Two suspects were arrested there. No one was hurt. Their names have not been released. A woman and her young daughter are recovering in the hospital after a car hit them last night. It happened around 9 o'clock at Red Bud Lane and T.C. Oates Drive. That's just outside of Old Settlers Park in Round Rock. Police say that victim and her four-year-old daughter were trying to cross the street when they were hit. The mother was taken to Seton Hospital in critical condition. Her daughter to Dell Children's Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say the driver of the car involved there was not hurt. Time now to get a check on the weather. KVU Storm Team Meteorologist Alona McCauley joins us now. She's got the first forecast. Good morning, Alona.